Hello, my hair warriors. It's me, Aaron O'Brien, your friendly neighborhood hairdresser. Today, we are talking about scalp care. Yes, how to take care of that head of yours in between systems when you're changing them out, which I think is super important. And we do have an icky sticky mess today. So this is the perfect time for me to clean and show you exactly what to use and how to do it. These videos are sponsored by my friends at lordhair.com where you only get the best in hair systems. So here we go, let's get this video started. Let's get cleaning. Okay, so here we are. We're about to remove my beautiful Yes, this is just about ready to just peel off my head, as you can see. And I'm left, you, how gorgeous is that? And that's been on for like three weeks. Let's just move that over here. Okay, so we have my beautiful bald head. We want to make sure that we're really taking care of your scalp. You can see there's a bit of irritation around here. There's a little bit of irritation up through the top of the scalp as well. This is usually just caused by heat movement of the system and it's really important that we make our scalps feel really fresh afterwards. So first of all, it's the removal of the glue. I like to use my C22. This is a solvent that basically breaks down that glue and removes it all. So I'm going to spritz it on. You can use quite a generous amount when you put this on your head. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. That feels fantastic. Okay, so you're going to rub that right in. Now when you are rubbing, make sure to massage your scalp. Never scrub too hard. Massaging just stimulates the blood flow in the scalp, making sure that gives you a healthier shinier, beautiful head. <laughs> okay, once we have all of that rubbed in, I can actually feel the glue with my fingers and um, moving around there. So it's just about ready to come off. Make sure you really concentrate around the hairline and also around the sides. Sometimes the glue transfers onto the hair. So we wanna make sure that we really get rid of that. So move that around. Oh, fantastic. Okay. And I like to use a towel. You can use like cotton wool or anything, but I like a little bit of a grip and grip on the towel. It really gets every single piece of glue off. Make sure that your towel isn't super fluffy either because you'll end up with balls of fluff all over your head. Oh my God. This is how a dog feels when it's getting scratched. It is so good. Okay, so there we go. All done clean. No stickiness, just make sure you pat around to make sure that there's no excess glue. Okay, ready to go. Then, this is one of my secrets and I do it all the time when I'm working with systems. I use a little bit of sugar and I use a bit of shampoo as well. This is the volume shampoo built in with biotin, it's pH balance, which is really important. This is my line, it's AOB hair products and it helps regulate the scalp as well. So I mix my shampoo with sugar. So basically what the sugar does is it acts as a bit of grip to take any dead skin cells off the scalp, any excess glue, if anything is left over. So we have that in our glass, we have the sugar and we have the shampoo and we're gonna mix it around. I like to use a brush for application and it should look like this paste. So basically just like this kind of paste, you can see the granules in there and it should be really thick when you're putting it on. So you just place it onto your scalp. Woo! It's nice and cool. Oh, beautiful. All right, that is beautiful. Oh my God, it's so good. I don't know why I'm surprised. I do this like nearly all the time. Okay, so let's get that on. And you can use quite a bit. I recommend not putting this on a wet scalp. You can dry your scalp before putting it on or straight after the solvent. And then you're gonna take your fingers and again, massage it in. And honestly, you can really feel, you can feel, <laughs> you can, my eyes are going like this. You can really feel the grit working through the skin and giving that a really good cleanse. So making sure again that you're massaging the scalp 
and it, I, I can literally feel that in my fingers. I know, there we go. You can kind of, I don't know if you can see the grit in there. And it's just taking all of that skin and glue off. Okay, so that is all rubbed in nicely. We're gonna rinse this out. Now, when you're rinsing it, I always recommend that you use a detoxifying shampoo. The one I use is the Blonde Me Detox, and I think it's a great formulation. It actually feels good on the scalp. And um, you can also use, I'm not crazy on it all the time, dishwashing soap, um, because it can be a bit irritating, um, but I rather use like a detox brand, and that always works best for me. Okay, so now that I am scrubbed and clean and beautified, I'm gonna rinse this out and I'll be right back. Okay, now I am clean. I am, yeah, squeaky clean. It looks beautiful. So once we have cleaned and detoxified our scalp, we wanna make sure that we are adding that little bit of moisture. Now adding moisture is really important. It's great to keep the scalp in fantastic health. So you can use coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oil, but of course my brand AOB products has come up with Glam and Grow just new on the market. This is great to help with healthier hair growth. Um, but for this and for us guys and gals that wear hair systems, this is great for general scalp health. So I usually take one full dropper and I put it all around my scalp and I'm going to rub it in and make sure that you just massage gently all around the scalp. This helps with irritation if you have any flakiness as well. It's going to help reduce that or get rid of it. Now I usually leave this sit for about 10 to 30 minutes, but make sure because it is oil based that you rinse it out properly in the shower. Uh, so you can use a detoxifying shampoo or a mild shampoo and you do that twice. Make sure that there is no oil residue because that will affect the glue on your system. But remember, it is important to take the step to take care of your scalp. Okay, what's next? Now that all the oil residue has been cleaned off my head and you can clearly see that the redness is now gone from my scalp, which is absolutely phenomenal. We are now going to add a little bit of alcohol just to prep the skin before we put our system on. It's very important to put alcohol on. It'll make sure that your system adheres to your scalp and make sure that you dab and you don't rub with these cotton pads because all you're left with is a bunch of fluffy bunnies all over your head. So make sure you dab. Okay, so once this has been applied, we're gonna to wanna to apply our scalp protector. The one I love is the Walker Tape Scalp Protector. This is fantastic, it helps with sweat, and um, so your system lasts a little bit longer. So we're just gonna spritz that around. And this is a great way to protect your scalp, especially when you are using glues. I just make sure you are using clean hands without fluff, <laughs> clean hands and just dab that gently. I think it says we're to leave this for about 30, I think it's 30 to 60 seconds or until dry to touch. Okay, so that is us done, scalp protected, beautified and ready for your hair system. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. These videos, again, are sponsored by lordhair.com. Don't forget to watch all my other videos in relation to hair systems. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this video and cannot wait to see you soon. Comment below, link, all that good stuff. Bye.